Hi, right, what's going on guys? Trey back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about some uh, pictures that um, I've pretty much recently been informed of through you guys. Thank you uh, to several viewers. About four different viewers within a day or two sent me um, the link to these pictures. Uh, and uh, I will put the link in the description so you can check them out. There are more there, but I chose basically about uh, 18 of them or so that I thought were you know the better ones to, to kind of show. These are basically the Walking Dead season three uh, Woodbury which is the other group essentially so we have Rick's group and now we have the governor's group which is in Woodbury uh, and this will be pretty much their uh, homestead so to speak and their uh, hometown of where the other group's going to be set up uh, and once again we don't know for sure if it's Randall Dave and Tony's group but it will be another group and um, you know they should be pretty much uh, enemies of Rick's group so uh, these are kind of cool to get to see the set uh, of uh, season three, you know, before we get into it, this will be another part, and then of course the other part will mainly be the prison and surrounding areas of the prison. Um, this is in Sonoma, uh, Sonoma, Georgia, and uh, this first pick here is a pretty cool, good one to get us start off with. So at the front here we have a rusted uh, blue um, uh, car that looks like it's been you know burned at the front or something has happened. It looks like the front window shattered, so it's really messed up. Uh, a couple other cars there in the background too. They're also messed up. A bunch of tires that have been used uh, on top of a wall to create a barricade as well as junk littered all over the place to sort of give it that zombie apocalypse feel. Uh, and I think it looks really good. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, tree at the left side and that kind of stuff. But just, just a very cool design for this, this part. Uh, you can see there's going to be some lights there above the two tires near the opening there. And I'm not sure whether or not this is going to have a gate that swings open and closed. I imagine it probably will. Um, but this may be the entrance to uh, Woodbury. Uh, yeah, so this is a cool picture. First one. Moving on from there, the second one is a really, really cool picture. Uh, I've got a bunch of different people here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're working on the show or if they're just pretty much uh, people from Sonoma who were allowed to kind of check out the set and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is pretty cool Woodbury Coffee uh, Coffee House. So like a coffee shop, so to speak, that's right next to that barricade that we just looked at in the background there. Um, so that's kind of cool just to see that and, you know, just to kind of get that feel that... Uh, to me, these pictures look legit. I mean, I don't think someone would go to all this trouble to make something like this. It's pretty elaborate. So that's pretty cool right there. Just wanted to kind of show that real quick. And then this picture is really cool. So this would be another side of the barricade, I assume, that they've created. Uh, as you can see there, there is one of the governor's men, so to speak. Doesn't look to be too old. Looks to be, you know, early, maybe early 20s, that type of thing. Uh, on top, and um, he is in a couple of the pictures too, and he does seem to have a firearm of some uh, sort. You got the road close sign there, which is pretty cool. Um, really looking neat, looking a lot like how I would expect it to be out of the comic books. So I think this is a really, really cool shot. Um, definitely, very cool barricade, great set design, it looks good to me. I really like it a lot. Moving on. This one here is kind of funny, just a quick little one with a sign here, basically uh, saying thanks to the city of Sonoya uh, for not cutting their grass, <laughs> not mowing their, their grass, so that it kind of looks like, you know, you got to get that zombie apocalypse feel. Clean cut grass doesn't make sense in zombie apocalypse. Uh, when people are fending for their lives, they're not going to be worried about uh, what the sidewalk looks like. So, pretty cool. Alrighty, and then this one here uh, is a pretty neat picture too, just sort of getting a look at some of the... Uh, tools they're bringing in. I'm not big into film and stuff, so I don't know what exactly that is on the left side there. And uh, just to give you a feel of another another area where it looks like they're getting a lot of the equipment up. Uh, you see the uh, the white tape there, so you can't cross it type thing. Uh, filming probably on the other side, so kind of cool. This one we get to see uh, some lady walking with a crossbow. So I don't know if she's actually going to be in the show or if she's bringing it to somebody or what. But uh, that's kind of cool. Um, is that a crossbow? I don't know. I don't know what kind of bow that is. I'm not a weapons expert. Longbow or I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so that looks cool. Looks like one of them is going to be using crossbow, either her or maybe she's bringing it to somebody. Who knows? Here's another really cool shot of the same guy that was on the uh, the barricade before, sort of keeping watch with his gun. Just more of a closer shot so we get to see more of it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I think that that is a really cool set design for Woodbury. Um, it looks great. Right out of the comps. Exactly how I would think of it. So very cool. And uh, again, just a closer shot of that entrance that we looked at before near the beginning. 
with uh, the garbage just more zoomed in here so we can see better and the lights on top with the uh, tires that are all dirty and stuff uh, very cool like it a lot and another shot of the uh, city sort of just to give you an idea of what uh, a lot of the buildings and stuff will look like kinda got that you know kinda looking like an older type Georgia um, town type thing so uh, I think that I think the um, Sonoa is going to be perfect for The Walking Dead. It really feels like a place that they would have visited in the comic books. So that's that's very very nice. Here's kind of a neat one here. Yes, we are <laughs> open zombie free zone. So <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Maybe I don't know if it's a restaurant nearby or something in in the city. It's got pictures of different stuff, so <laughs> that's kind of cool. I'm sure the people of uh, Sonora are really excited to have the Walking Dead film there, seeing as how it's such an awesome show, and I'm sure a lot of them, you know, probably if they haven't watched it yet, will pick it up, seeing as how it's it's so cool. Another shot of the wall or barricade, so to speak, with a motorcycle in front of it. Another angle type thing. Yeah, that's neat, man. Very neat. And then we have another shot of another corner of the city where we get to see that building in the background, the uh, yellow tape. So definitely probably something else that will be used and may see characters, you know, in and around this type of area too. So very cool. And here's a picture of the dude with a gun who was on top of the barricade walking um, with some other guy as well. So I assume both of them are going to be in the show. So that'll be uh, that'll be kind of neat type of guys that I would, would imagine, you know, just kind of like regular type guys wearing regular clothes, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, so I guess we can expect to see them in some capacity in the show. And another picture of the dude standing on the wall from another angle. Um, very neat. Not too much to say about this one, you know. So, And we'll finish it with this one. Um, so just another shot of the city with some cars around that I assume will probably be gone when they start to shoot. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about the Woodbury scenery uh, environment. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see it. And I think I said so cool about 10 times during this video. So I'll say it 11. It is so freaking cool. Later, guys. Peace.